the situations that you'll ever see in the league. Let me explain. Obviously the game is decided, but the whole arena gets a free taco if the Lakers hold Chicago under 100 points. And look what happens. The Bulls knew this and they're fighting like it's the playoffs, just so that the fans don't get the taco. Look at this fiasco. In one of the most ridiculous sequences that I've ever seen, at the very last second a foul is called and to everyone's disappointment in the Staples Center, the Bulls were actually that quarter. They were blazing hot, hitting 20 shots in a row without missing a single one. They could have set an almost unbreakable record for a perfect quarter but check out the ending. Josh McRoberts misses the very last attempt in the period and ruins what could have been a historic achievement. He later said that if he knew that they were perfect he would not have attempted the shot. And speaking of attempts, here are two examples of players trying to miss a free throw on purpose but failing to do so. This happened to Manu Ginobili as well as Kyrie Irving and you can see the frustration in both cases. Kyrie later jokingly said that he trains his whole life to make these so it's both weird and tough when you try to do the opposite. Once again, staying on this topic, check out the craziest missed game winner ever. Tie game, Brooklyn have possession but Brandon Knight steals the ball and has the win literally in his hands, goes up for the layup and misses it from point blank range. Although everyone in a Milwaukee uniform was stunned by this, fortunately for them the Bucks ended up winning this game in overtime. Moving on to LeBron's easiest points that he ever got. James scores the basket and shoots his A in one. After missing the free throw, both teams completely fall asleep and LeBron uses the moment to score easy 2 points. The funniest thing here is that Bosch gets credited with a rebound and an assist. Next, here's Harrison Barnes having himself a nice game last season for the Mavs, only to find out in the middle of the game that he was traded to the Sacramento Kings. You can see his honest reaction here immediately after hearing the news. This is a tough business and in this case Harrison Barnes learned that the hard way. Ok, it's time to kick it up a notch. Remember when J.R. Smith used to untie opponent's shoelaces for a few games until he got fined? As silly as that is, I believe not many of you have seen this unique method of pulling down shorts that Ron Artest used on Paul Pierce. This is some real 4th grade stuff here. Best of all, Pierce still knocked down the shot in his face. Guys, this is one of my favorite moments in my 20 years as a Knicks fan. Tie game against the Bobcats, 0.1 seconds left. The only thing you can do here is a tip in. And that's exactly what David Lee did to achieve the impossible. And the entire Madison Square Garden goes crazy. And here's another improbable turn of events that led to a game winner. In 2010, the Utah Jazz, who had a few injured guards at the time, signed Sandiata Gaines from the D-League on a 10-day contract. On the 9th day and his final game with the team, Gaines needed to battle against none other than LeBron James and the Cavs. He had a phenomenal game and kept Utah in it, but at the end it seemed like the power of LeBron would be too much to overcome. The Jazz however had one last possession in the final seconds, and Sandiata Gaines, the rookie from the D-League, plays hero and knocks down the biggest shot of his career to literally leave no other choice for the Utah Jazz but to sign him for the rest of the season. This is one of the wildest and most inspirational moments that I witnessed as an NBA fan throughout the years. And finally, this is probably the most bizarre situation to take place on an NBA court. Carmelo hit his head and lost consciousness, but I guess everyone kinda thought that he's acting up and continued playing. The most absurd thing by far in this situation is the fact that when JR Smith gets the ball, everyone on the Nuggets stop expecting a timeout to be called or something. Instead, in typical JR fashion, he goes 1 on 5 against the Thunder, literally stepping inches away of Carmelo who just laid motionless on the court. Eventually the medical team gets to Melo and fortunately he didn't suffer any serious injury.